Number 1. The Legend of Xuehua. Mu Xuehua, the illegitimate daughter of a wealthy merchant, defies tradition with a fierce intellect and an even fiercer love for freedom and money. Stifled by the prospect of an arranged marriage, she sheds societal expectations by running away to the capital and sets her sights on becoming an imperial officer, a role reserved solely for men. Along the way, she crosses paths with the brooding Lord Ding, a respected general who also happens to be the emperor's brother. Sparks fly as they clash and cooperate, each recognizing the other's strength and ambition, they eventually find love and friendship in each other. Xuehua's journey is paved with obstacles. But armed with wit sharper than any blade and resourcefulness bordering on magic, she navigates through societal prejudices, corrupt officials, and even assassins. Her mind, a labyrinth of knowledge, strategizes cunning schemes to help her get ahead and thwart those who plot against her and those around her. Number 2. The Story of Yanqi Palace. This story follows Wei Yinglo, a woman fueled by revenge and armed with cunning intelligence. Wanting to unravel the truth behind her sister's mysterious death within the opulent walls of the Forbidden City, Yinglo infiltrates the ranks of palace maids, not for servitude, but for justice and revenge. Not afraid to bend the rules, she exploits loopholes and manipulates palace customs to gain favor and information. She masters the art of passive-aggressive defiance, uses her sharp mind to weave a web of clever traps to trip up her enemies, plants seeds of doubt, orchestrates misunderstandings, manipulates information, and turns her foes' tactics against them. Whether it is scheming co-workers, powerful concubines, or princes, there is no enemy this insignificant palace maid does not take down. But despite her morally ambiguous methods, her desire for truth and her fight for justice for herself, and though she cares about earn her grudging respect, even from the emperor, who after witnessing her cunning nature is prejudiced against her and tries to despise her because he sees her for the schemer that she is, but instead reluctantly falls in love with her. Number 3. A Dream of Splendor. Taking place in the Song Dynasty, A Dream of Splendor follows a brilliant woman named Zhao Panner. After financially supporting her betrothed for three years, she is shocked and heartbroken when he betrays her by breaking the promises he made her and getting engaged to a girl of a higher social status. Refusing to be defined by misfortune, she channels her spirit into helping her downtrodden friends and running a successful tea house. Panner devises innovative marketing strategies, attracting high-paying customers with unique tea blends and captivating performances. Panner and her two sworn sisters experience a lot of hardship and obstacles, but are finally able to find success, happiness, and love. Their restaurant becomes a place where entertainers can work and make a decent living. With the help of the emperor, Zhao Panner is able to have the pariah status and restrictions removed. Number 4. The Story of Minglan. Set during the turbulent Northern Song Dynasty, this drama revolves around Xing Minglan, a young woman who embodies quiet strength and shrewdness. Unfavored by her father, stepped on by her half-sisters and mostly ignored by her stepmother, Minglan learns to navigate her world by following her dead mother's advice and keeping her head down to avoid trouble. Beneath her seemingly unassuming exterior lies a sharp intellect and an astute understanding of human nature. Minglan carefully evaluates others' motives and weaknesses, using her insights to navigate complex situations and gain advantages. Initially in love with the Duke of Qi's son, she gets her heart broken when he breaks his word and gets betrothed to another. When Minglan marries Gu Tingye, a man she had met as a child, she helps him guard against his unpleasant relatives, purges the court of corrupt ministers, and ultimately succeeds in avenging her biological mother's death. Intrigues Armed with knowledge about the future from her previous life, she makes bold business moves. 7. The Legend of Lu Zhen This story follows Lu Zhen, a girl who in a bid to escape her cruel stepmother, enters the palace as an attendant, where she is quickly promoted through the ranks for her pottery-making skill. During this time, she captures the heart of Crown Prince Gao Zhan. However, she can never be with him as social status and jealous enemies work against her at every turn. She devotes herself to politics and helps Gao Zhan put down a coup. 
Though Gao Zhang cannot make her his empress, he bestows her with the highest position in the land, the position of female prime minister. Number 8. Nothing Gold Can Stay. Set in the Qing Dynasty, this drama is the story of Zhou Ying, who is sold to the powerful Shen family by her foster father, but successfully escapes by sneaking into merchant Wu Ping's palanquin. After witnessing her remarkable business acumen, the Wu family agreed to take her in. Through a twist of fate, she becomes the ailing merchant's wife, inheriting not only his name but also the responsibility of his struggling family business. Despite having no formal training, Zhou Ying possesses an innate understanding of commerce. She observes, learns, and quickly grasps the intricacies of trade and negotiation. Her innovative ideas breathe new life into the family business, and she uses her resourcefulness and strategic thinking to overcome barriers and turn setbacks into opportunities. Number 9. Miss Chun is a litigator. Set in the Tang Dynasty, the story revolves around Chun Tumi, the daughter of a military household, who sets out to clear her father's name, who was wrongly imprisoned. She becomes a renowned attorney, helping the poor to stand up against the rich and powerful, solving various difficult cases, and also willingly becoming a political chess piece for the emperor. She wins the admiration of Crown Prince Han Wu Wei, Dali Temple's official Xing Yuan, and Aishu Rue, a prince of an ethnic kingdom. Number 10. The Imperial Coroner. This historical drama follows a young woman named Chu Chu, the only daughter in a poor family of coroners, a profession that causes her family to be despised by the other villagers due to the superstitions associated with those who work with dead bodies. With a mind brimming with observation skills and medical knowledge, Chu Chu dreams of becoming the first female imperial coroner and travels to the capital to pursue her dream. Though underestimated for her naivety and rustic country ways, her sharp deductions and genuine heart disarm even the most jaded. When she meets Prince Xiao, the head of criminal investigations, he gives her a chance to prove herself and through their partnership, they finally untangle the mystery surrounding a shocking 18-year-old case. After solving the case, Chu Chu wins the emperor's approval and is finally certified as the imperial coroner and proves that brilliance can bloom in unexpected places.